Hello friends, welcome to Infigyan in this very very exciting video of Math Olympiad Challenging Problems. Today we will be simplifying one square root with 14 cube plus 15 cube plus 16 cube up to 25 cube. We have to simplify this problem but without using calculator. If you want to solve it, simplify it, then you can take a pause and then check solution. I am going to solve because of this identity. If you will use this identity, then you will definitely going to solve in quicker time. Whole square, let me put bracket over there, minus x times x minus 1 whole square over 4. This identity is very very useful. Let's quickly prove it from where it is identity actually so let me take x square is common so i will take x common actually so from square so it would be x square over 4 i will write what would be left that would be x plus 1 whole square minus x minus 1 whole square okay now we know that a square minus b square identity so let's write that identity a square minus b square can be written as a plus b times a minus b. So our equation will become or you can say identity will become x cube equal to x square over 4. I will apply the same a plus b. So x plus 1 plus x minus 1. This is a plus b. a minus b x plus 1 minus x plus 1. So plus x minus x I will cancel. What is left now? x square over 4 in bracket there would be 2x in first bracket parenthesis and second parenthesis will have 2. So ultimately what we are getting x square over 4, 4x. x cube. See, this is actually correlation between a square, the difference of a square and cube. That is why this identity is very, very useful. Let's apply. So, I am going to, write, let me write one time, x times x plus 1 whole square over 4 minus x times x minus 1 whole square over 4. This is our cube. So if I will write here x cube, then that is perfect. Now let's begin with 14 cube. Slowly you can write all the numbers which is inside the square root. So 14, so number itself and the next number, the successive number. So I will write number is square, n is square, See, it is x square, x plus 1 whole square. So, times 15 square. Minus the pre previous number, 13 square and number. Over 4, over 4. 15 cube. Number and the successive number. So, number is 15. So, I will write 15 square. 16 square over 4 minus the prior, prior number or previous number 14 square times 15 square over 4. Similarly, let me write one more number 16. So, I will write 16 square times 17 square over 4 minus 15 square the previous number, the number over 4. Dot dot. Let me write here 24 cube. Quickly, we can write 24 cube. Number and the next number is square. So, number is 24, 25 is square over 4 minus 23 square times 24 is square over 4. And the last number is 25. So, I will write 25 is square, 26 is square over 4 minus 24 square 
25 square over 4. Now we have to identify which terms we are going to cancel because it is ultimately addition. So I have to add all. Now you can see cancelled. Cancelled. This would be cancelled with the previous one. So ultimately what is left inside the square root. So let me write here 14 cube plus 15 cube up to 25 cube. I am not taking a square root. We will take at last. So that value is 25 is square times 26 is square over 4. What is left? This one and this one only. Minus 13 is square times 14 is square over 4. Now see. 26 can be written as 2 times 13. So I can write 2 times 13. So let me write it 25 is square times. So I will write 2 is square times 13 is square. Is that okay? Power is still 2. 2 times 13 is your base. 4 minus 13 is square. Same job we will do for 14. So I will write 2 is square, 7 is square over 4. Now 2 is square, 4, 2 is square, 4, I will cancel. Alright, now you can see 25 is square, 13 is square minus 13 is square times 7 is square. This is like that. Okay. Now I will take 13 square common out. So 13 square if I will take common out. So what would be left? 25 square minus 7 square. Okay. Let me write 25 square minus 7 square. What I can write? Again the difference of a square. A square minus B square. A plus B times a minus b. So I will get a plus b. So 25 let me write one time 25 plus 7 25 minus 7. 13 is square 25 plus 7 32 25 minus 7 18. Now I can see 18 can be written as 2 times 9. Now this 2 I will merge here. So it will become 13 square times 64 times 9. Now square root is there finally. So what we, we were solving actually that is without the square root. Now as per our question it is square root there. So what is left? Square root of 13 square 64 9. Now we know that it is square of 13. Second one is the square of 8, third one is the square of 3, take a square root, then square will be over. So what we will have times 3, which will give us 312. So our answer is 312. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video.